So I know that Infinite Warfare Zombies is done, and that is honestly a good thing. But in this video, I do want to talk about Infinite Warfare and sort of where they went wrong. This is mainly focusing on zombies. Now, there is a lot of things in Infinite Warfare Zombies that could have been a lot better. But there is one big thing in IW Zombies where I felt like they actually failed on. And that was just the storyline. The storyline was just not good at all, in my opinion. Um, so in this video, I do want to talk about, you know, how they could have maybe changed that to make it good. And I think if the storyline was good... If the Infinite Warfare Zombie storyline was actually a hit, you know, it could have made the game a lot better. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about that storyline and, you know, what they could have done to sort of make it different. Infinite Warfare didn't really do a good job on making the fans actually care about these characters. Like, let's be honest, nobody really actually cares what happens to any of these characters in IW. If something were to happen, like one of the characters were to actually die or something... I wouldn't really care, and I know a lot of people out there wouldn't care as well. That's a big problem that Infinite Warfare had. Like, no one really actually cared about what was really going on. So, the only people who actually were to play the game were people that didn't really care about the storyline and just actually liked the maps. So, you know, a lot of people who were into zombie storyline didn't really find the storyline that interesting, didn't really care about the characters, and that really hurt the game. If you look at Black Ops 3, the storyline was so crazy, and, you know, there's just so much about it, and... You know, Treyarch did a really good job of making people actually care about the characters. Treyarch had good cutscenes, which I found Infinite Warfare lacked on. Like the cutscenes that Treyarch made were they're were, they're were thought out well, and they're just there's so much to it. Whereas Infinite Warfare, there wasn't really much to it. Basically, it was just this big, you know, goof show. Like it was just so goofy that I didn't really like, and I know people out there didn't really like that as well. What Treyarch did in the cutscenes is, you know, they they sort of hyped up whatever they were trying to show, whether it was an intro to the map or you know the ending for a map. They they hyped it up a lot, and it got people actually caring. IW didn't really do that like I got like I said before it was just goofy and I didn't really care about it too much every infinite warfare cutscene was the same thing basically if it was an intro cutscene for the map what they would do is they would show the ending of the previous map in the intro cutscene for the for the next map and then show them sort of actually coming into this map and then that's basically it you know and if it was the outro cutscene for a map they would just show them killing the boss or whatever so there wasn't really much to the cutscenes and they were the same thing over and over again Trek actually showed these badass cutscenes that people actually enjoy like you look at Gerard Crowby you know they're they're flying through the sky or whatever and it's, and it's pretty sick and they see Peter McCain in there and they, they use his parachute or whatever if it's you know Zetsabel they're on a boat and they're killing all these people so the cutscenes on Black Ops 3 were actually you know more intense and made people you know sort of engage in it more and all the ending cutscenes for black ops 3 wasn't you know showing them kill the boss basically what it was is it showed them killing their own self which for a storyline basis it makes it much much better and much more cooler to actually see like who really cares about the boss like it's, it's obviously important to have a good boss fight in the easter egg but who wants to see you defeat the boss after you defeated the boss like infinite warfare you defeat the boss or whatever and then you go to the cutscene and you see yourself defeating the boss and then you know you teleport or ever to the next map and it was just the same thing over and over again whereas Treyarch, you know they actually showed you you know killing you know your their old selves or whatever it was actually very very cool to actually see and it sort of made the characters care more about what you know the next map is going to be like if infinite warfare would have put more time in their cutscenes and they would have made it more appealing to the audience it would have been much better and it would have made the game much better because people would actually care about it you know because they actually see this good cutscene instead of seeing a bad cutscene cutscenes are very important obviously if you see a bad cutscene you know it's not gonna do good for the map because you know if it's an intro cutscene it's supposed to hype up the map and if it didn't hype up the map you know people won't care so that's a big problem where you know i, I think iw went wrong they didn't do good on their cutscenes at all the majority of the zombies community now is based off of easter eggs and storyline and if you don't have a good storyline and you don't have the best easter eggs it's obviously not going to be good for your game it's going to hurt it and i found infinite warfare with the bad storyline and the easter eggs that weren't really the best that definitely brought the game down as far as gameplay goes iw was it, it was good it was different but it was still fun to play so if you're one of those guys who don't really care about the storyline just play zombies for, for fun i mean infinite warfare is a good game to play but if you're the majority of the community out there you're people who actually like storyline like doing easter eggs and like to see what happens in the storyline it's not the best because it's the same thing over and over again that's where i think infinite warfare went wrong if they had a better storyline and if they made people actually care about the characters in the game people would stay and people would play and they would want to see what actually happens next like no one really cared what happened next because no one just no one cared about the characters world war ii has to succeed on this they have to have people caring about the storyline and the characters if they don't it could be like infinite warfare another bad game 
but I do think World War II will have a better storyline than IW. I do think people will actually care about the characters, because judging from the one trailer that we saw, for zombies, people are already caring about it already. So I do think there's a good chance that that sort of won't happen, but they need that to succeed. So the main reason why I think Infinite Warfare Zombies failed was just because of the storyline and the fact that nobody cared what actually happened. Spaceland wasn't too bad. A lot of people cared about Spaceland. The main reason why was because it was the first map on IW. People were interested to actually see what happens. But the storyline in that map, well, it wasn't bad at all. But, you know, once we left that map, we went to Raven the Redwoods. We went to all the other maps. It just became the same thing over and over again. And it got super boring to play. And that's a big reason why a lot of people actually stopped playing this game. I just wanted to talk about this because I kind of wanted to get this off my chest. That's at least what I think went wrong with Infinite Warfare. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I am Delby, and I'll see you guys in the next one.